is so good. Yeah! Hooray! Hey guys, it's Camille from Written and Smitten. Welcome to my very first TBR video. So many books. May is wide open for me. School is ending, finals are over. And finally I get some time to read the books I've always been wanting to read. If you read. can't tell, I'm super excited for this. I have nine books that I'm planning on reading in May. In the category of nonfiction. Full Frontal Feminist by Jessica Valen. This book was written in 2007. It seems like it's a little bit old now. From what I understand of this book, it helps unpack different types of feminism and theories behind feminism. Something that I have been dying to delve into more from a theoretical side. The Secretary, a journey with Hillary Clinton from Beirut to the heart of power by Kim Gotts. This book follows Hillary Clinton from a journalist's perspective. It will be interesting to see an international journalist looking at an American politician. I don't really know very much about Hillary Clinton, and when she announced her presidency, I really wanted to delve into what she's done in the past. Shades of Difference by Patrick O'Malley. This book is about South Africa, and it came out in 2007. He just came out with a new book about Israel and Palestine, which I am dying to read, but I figured I wanted to read his first book, First. It's really thick, so I don't know if I'm gonna get all the way through it, but I'm really hoping to um, because I really want to tackle his other book. Writing as Resistance by Paul Greedy. Greedy? Yeah. I'm excited to read this because it takes real stories from people living in South Africa and the Party and shows how they were resisting. Um, and I'm very excited about that because I'm taking the politics and Arabic poetry class, which examines how politics were influenced by an art form such as poetry. And I'm really excited to see how that same kind of thing happened a little bit south of the region we were studying in South Africa. For fiction, we have Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Ford. I am so excited to read this book simply because of the way that the pages are designed and how he incorporates images into this book. I have been dying to delve into it. How to Be an American Housewife by Margaret Dillaway. This seems like a weird book for me to choose. This is the counterpoint to full frontal feminism, one might think. However, it's fiction. It's about a Japanese immigrant coming to America. I'm very interested to see how this pairs with the medium of full frontal feminism. Crow Fair by Thomas McGuane. It's a collection of short stories. I'm very excited to read this book. It just came out. It's super brand new and pretty. And last but not least, we've got poetry. The Woman Who Fell From the Sky by Joy Harper. I'm currently in an American Indian literature class, and this is one of the required readings for that class. But I'm really excited to delve into a more artistic take on the Native American experience. And lastly, my most anticipated book for this month is How to Be Drawn by Terrace Hayes. This is a book of poems based around how we see and how we are seen. So I'm interested to see how these poems affect my art this month. Hopefully I get to all of them. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what books you're reading in May. And with that, I bid you adieu. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it now. Do it, do it.